everybody. Welcome back to another video from Main Street Stereo. My name is James. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new digital multimedia receiver from Jensen, the CAR1000. This receiver sports a very huge, impressive 10.1 inch capacitive touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, as well as a list of other benefits you'd expect from your in-car receiver. Most of all, the CAR1000 holds a price tag of $399, making this cutting edge in design and functionality affordable for any enthusiast. Let's take a closer look. Today we're going to be installing the Jensen CAR1000 into this 2017 Hyundai Elantra. So now that we've seen the Jensen CAR1000 in action, I have to say I'm very impressed. Anyone who has seen or driven a new model car knows that the way of the future is in multimedia radios and tablet size displays. Jensen certainly did not disappoint. Not only did they nail the basic features such as Bluetooth radio and backup camera, but the 10.1 inch capacitive touchscreen provides prompt and seamless control with lightning fast startup time. The Apple CarPlay and Android Auto work well, and there's a rear set of audio video inputs for movies and video streaming for the family on the go. I will detail all the features of the CAR1000 in the description below, but I know what all of you are wondering. How much? The CAR1000 sells for $399. With all things considered, feature for feature, pound for pound, it is the most valuable digital multimedia receiver around. To show you the value of the CAR1000, I will put it up against two similar style radios currently on the market from Alpine. These are the ILX F309 and the ILX F259. I tried to put the Jensen CAR1000 up against the $999 ILX F309, but without HD radio, an HDMI input, and iDataLink Maestro capability, it was a stretch. So I'll do the comparison of the Jensen CAR1000 with Alpine's ILX F259. Let's take a look at the benefits of both receivers. Both models come with a two-year warranty from the manufacturer. The Jensen fits into a two-din stock radio opening where the Alpine takes up just a single DIN. Each has the ability to retain factory steering wheel controls, includes an input for a backup camera, a standard radio tuner, and is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, including the ability to use Siri and Google Assist voice control respectively. The CAR1000 and ILX F259 both have six pre-outs with four volts of signal output. Each publish their built-in amplifier rating at 50 watts per channel. While the Alpine offers 18 of those watts continuously, the Jensen is a little less, at 16 watts per channel. The Alpine has one USB input, compared to two on the Jensen, and it's Sirius XM satellite radio ready, where the Jensen is not. What the CAR1000 gives you that you won't find on the ILX F259 is a rear RCA-style aux input, a rear audio-video input, and a wireless remote control. But I can't go on without pointing out the obvious two huge advantages that Jensen has over Alpine. Jensen's 10.1 inch capacitive touchscreen display compared to Alpine's 9 inch has the same impact in the car as having a 52 inch TV over a 46 inch TV in your living room. And the price? The CAR1000 sells for $399 against the ILX F259 price tag of $599. There is no question when looking for a digital multimedia receiver for your car, truck, or SUV, you can feed your caviar appetite on a beer budget. Well guys, that was awesome. Thank you very much for joining us. If you liked the video, please subscribe below and click on the link for more description about Main Street Stereo. See you next time.